Namaste. What are the warning signs that you should look for to see whether you are under a black magic attack? How would you protect yourself from further attacks of black magic? What is it that you need to do in your home? Or how is it that you need to be more and more aware just to make sure that you are not under the influence of any kind of negative energy or black magic? Stay tuned to this video as you're going to get answers to all these questions. This is Mekhla here from Pujas.in. So recently I was having a chat with a friend of mine uh, who is constantly battered because of black magic attacks and uh, she is totally paranoid when we are nearing a full moon day or a new moon day and she would always call me and she still calls me by the way. So she calls me and she says, um, what is it that uh, I need to do because we are nearing Amavasya, we are nearing the full moon Purnima uh, and I am very scared that I am vulnerable, my daughter may be vulnerable and things like that. So um, I thought, okay, let me make a video on this so that it helps everyone. I've listed about 20 things that you could do, which will really help you in protecting yourself from negative energy. First of all, think which are the places where you are more vulnerable, where you spend most of your time and uh, where would people want to come and attack you with the negative energy. So wherever we go, whatever we do, we come back home at least to have our dinner and sleep. So home is the most important part of your life you need to keep your home your house very clean spick and span and um, very pure now by clean spick and span what do i mean see there are certain very very small but very crucial things which will really uh, have an impact if it falls in the wrong hands so most of us have maids at home we have domestic help so uh, we have somebody coming in to clean the house and some of us may even have somebody to come and cook. But for the cooking part, I'll come later. But the cleaning part of it, when we know that there is a maid coming home, what we do normally, especially women, is when we brush our hair, you know, we just do all the things and we just leave the hair on the brush. That's the worst thing that you can ever do. It's a very, very bad habit because nails hair these are the things which people use to attack you with negative energy through tantra and black magic so never leave your hair on the hairbrush or sometimes when you have a lot of hair fall and things like that when you brush your hair naturally you lose some strands on the ground so we are so lazy that we don't want to pick it up we know we have a maid who will come and anyway sweep and mop and so it's fine so never do that because you have to pick your own hair and and throw it in the bin or just dispose it in a proper manner so that it's not lying around everywhere and it's never misused the second thing that you need to be very uh, aware is cutting your nails now if you're going to a salon and getting a manicure or a pedicure done that's a different story um, they have their own disposal system it's fine but when you are cutting your nails at home men and women i'm saying even the hair is applicable to both of them but mostly women make this mistake, which is why I'm uh, uh, highlighting on the women aspect of it. That's because I think they have longer hair than men. So obviously, but both of you need to exercise caution and teach your children also that when you brush your hair, you clean your comb, you clean your brush. So don't be obsessed with what I'm saying, but it's very important that you're aware. So there is a fine line between obsession and heightened awareness. So don't get into obsession mode, but be in the heightened awareness mode so that you are able to cleanly dispose your hair very simple okay straightforward next thing is the nail you cut your nails you make sure that you dispose it in water like just flush it in your uh, western closet or your wa wash basin or whatever you just just make sure that it's flushed out so it's not lying around because these are all uh, the way uh, they are a part of your skin they are an extension of your skin so they are used in Tantra to do Vashikaran, to do Maran Prayogs, to do Vidveshan. So what is all this like? Vashikaran is to attract somebody in a Tantric way in artificially inducing through using your material. And uh, what is um, Maran is to actually, you know, threaten you for life through Tantra. And Vidveshan is to create fights between uh, two parties, two individuals, two uh, you know uh, any any kind of relationship so these are the things which people do another thing that you uh, most often may make a mistake by oversight is uh, always whenever you wear clothes make sure you put it for wash always 
the moment you wear it and you take it out you're not going to wear it again just put it for wash even if it is like you're wearing for half an hour or one hour never keep your clothes uh, worn clothes as is because that's again because it will have dead skin some part of your dead skin will be there which we cannot see the dead cells will be there it will have its own uh, nature of you like the smell which the tantric forces can smell when they do the attacks when they use it against you they can uh, how do they target you that it's you one is through your photo but most effective is through your used clothes most effective is through your used nails and hair which is why you got to be really 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 careful some highly tantric like i can say kerala tantric or a bengali or assami tantric people will be like uh, they would go to the extent of even using menstrual blood so that's another uh, scary thing so but uh, fortunately women are very discreet and uh, they don't really um, whether it's talking about their period or it's about disposing their sanitary pads so um, you know all of us are very discreet so it's fine but you know if you think about the olden days why women were actually secluded and they were not allowed to be or mingle with others is because this could be misused and another thing is that if you notice your grandmothers and all that they would always comb their hair and they would uh, they would dispose their own hair into the bin and they would also cut the nails only during the day and put it in water i have seen my grandparents do that and uh, my parents as well but somewhere down the line the the casual attitude and you know we don't expect somebody to just come and harm us because we are educated and we don't wish bad for others so we think it's fine you know we don't wish bad for others they also don't but we don't know what intentions people have so only when a problem hits us we are like oh my god this happened to me now i need to be careful so now what do you do these are the things you should do and uh, when i say keep your home clean and surroundings clean see what happens usually is people take mud from the garden and you do prayog you know if somebody wants you to move out of a particular place so they want to throw you out of a particular place for example and i have seen many cases where they use a gardener they come into your house as a guest and they take some mud from the garden and then they do prayog and then something happens and you'll be inevitably moving out of that place these are the things which people have done and uh, you know i have seen so many cases like i can say 3 uh, out of 10 cases are always black magic related and uh, i said finally you know uh, it's quite tiring and uh, annoying to see people suffering and it re- my heart really bleeds i can tell you um, and i see innocent people just suffering for no reason no fault of theirs in this janma like you know whatever they have done in the past maybe c- catching up with them through karma but you know when they are actually suffering you feel very sad your heart really literally i just feel very sad and uh, i want to go all out and help so um, i thought okay maybe i should do this video if it helps it helps so you can exercise your caution so always keep your surroundings clean your compound uh, your garden keep it very clean just keep an eye keep a keep a watch see who's coming who's going and uh, that is very very important because you don't know how people misuse and you know there are th- people who will just come and throw something in your compound and go in fact i was horrified to see that uh, in uh, one a client of mine from orissa so she sent me images of uh, somebody putting some putla kind you know putla is like a doll so they made some dolls uh, in through black magic and they've just thrown it in front of the door and the mother discovers it and she's quite shocked she doesn't know what it is and what it implies so these are all black magic attacks to induce negative energy in the house so because the enemies naturally don't get access to get into the house uh, what they do is they just throw it in the compound and run away especially during the uh, amavasya and purnima so please be careful and clean it up so whenever you see something like this you dispose it and uh, water the place because water has a uh, immense potential of cleansing of vibrations it's varuna devata so he will uh, take care and he will clear the energy there immediately so don't wait for some time don't wonder uh, who's going to do what so it's fine yeah, it's some doll and then when it hits you know uh, when it really negatively impacts you then you'll think oh my god maybe i should have done something uh, or what happened i really have no idea like that you'll start regretting and then you'll start doing damage control but you need to act fast these are all like putting water cleaning up is all like first aid is what i can tell you and uh, the nail and the hair part is like a daily routine make it a part of your life so that uh, it doesn't become like you know you gave away your hair to somebody just like that to misuse and abuse and then finally discover that you're you're suffering don't get into that kind of a situation at all 
Now, um, don't be over dependent on your uh, domestic help or mates to do everything for you. For example, cooking also. Some people will have a cook who will come and go and things like that. But always keep an eye, monitor them and uh, show them you're involved at least through a conversation. If not... Uh, actually cooking you may not have time and things like that why because there are some people very low level uh, kind of tantrics so their uh, potential will be only to harm you to a certain extent uh, wherein your health is affected your digestion is affected so uh, in fact uh, in Mysore uh, we had a case where one um, girl a college student was affected because she was brilliant and apparently her classmates were jealous of her and things like that so every day they would feed her with some kind of food which would induce some stomach upset in her and she would throw up every time and she couldn't go to college uh, whenever she would fall sick she couldn't go to college when she was back again this would happen so they would trust and eat so you know because it's a friend and things like that but well, i'm not saying you should not eat out of your friend's uh, lunch box or anything like that or your colleague's lunch box but i am saying that when you do that and you're falling sick you need to think why this is happening and then maybe at least after once or twice you need to be very very careful now i can't say that like you know don't order from swiggy or zomato or whatever all these online uh, food uh, whatever supply chains but um, i can say that you, uh, from your trusted hands you can eat and uh, if you are facing problems like this particularly then you need to be very very careful watch out for signs like uh, are the pets falling sick suddenly or sudden death of a pet like a cat or a kitten or a dog at home because what happens is they are very sensitive to energies they can see what we cannot see so uh, when the pets suddenly die they actually take upon the negative energy on themselves because they want to save the master they have this loyalty so always in, in many many families i have seen uh, pets dying just all of a sudden like even uh, in the village side uh, i could say or outskirts of bangalore uh, I have seen a couple of families who have uh, actually said that uh, they had a hen, they had chickens which died, they had goats which died and uh, kittens many times, dog a couple of times, couple of families have complained suddenly because they have always been under black magic threats. So all these are like indications. Immediately you should go to your astrologer and get yourself checked, meaning to say the chart or through prashna to see whether it is a uh, black magic attack or it was just an accident. And through that we will know whether any tantric attack was done, what kind of an attack was done and what you need to do to uh, seal the damage and then you know uh, protect yourself further. If at home you see that you have a lot of fruits and vegetables and suddenly they're getting rotten uh, they were actually fine they were not overripe or anything but you see that it's getting rotten and some you have some grains and groceries which are getting spoiled because a lot of pest infestation is there um, or some uh, family members are suddenly falling sick no pre-existing disease nothing uh, till yesterday he was fine and today he's just very sick and for no reason and i don't know what it is like that you know we wonder those are all the signs of a black magic attack particularly if it is closer to amavasya or Pornima. and if you're having unnecessary fights at home misunderstandings separation between husband and wife and uh, you know sometimes even mother and son or it could be like uh, mother and uh, father are fighting you're just witnessing the whole thing so if some third person has some leverage they want to leverage on your fight and things like that they would induce such attacks so then you'll need to watch out and in uh, for businessmen even in partnerships if your business is growing and thriving because you have a strong sound partnership and suddenly the partnership crumbles because of uh, some disharmony between the partners it could be a competition doing black magic could be a business rival doing black magic so uh, you know so that you're deeply affected by this and your business crumbles like a pack of cards that is something that you need to watch out for again some bad habits we may have cultivated over a period of time is that uh, we are into giving clothes and we want to donate clothes so we give them we are very generous but we are so generous that we even give them what we are wearing without washing it we are not sensitive to that so we think anyway we are going to donate they'll wash it and wear it so it's fine no no never do that so always when you're donating clothes please make sure that you wash the clothes and give you don't have to iron it or anything but at least wash it and give it so that your sweat your body odor or your the cells of your body which dead cells are not on that it's cleansed so that it cannot be misused 
further by anybody and you don't know how people work no they conspire with people to get the best you know whatever material they can hold on to to do the attack and um, <clears throat> also like uh, especially college students are used to exchanging their shirts uh, they are uh, quite often they exchange their tops uh, you know especially the girls and boys also do it but not as much as girls so we do that so whenever you exchange clothes again the same rule uh, or women do that they exchange sarees and uh, jewelry and all that whenever you do that always wash and exchange wash and exchange it's best not to do it but if you have the habit of doing it just make sure that it's clean cleansed completely and then given so always you know dry wash or wash it and then give it then uh, it makes sense and then you're very safe then you're not prone to any more uh, you're not vulnerable that's what i mean and on the digital media if you feel like you put up your photo of you traveling abroad or you know doing some nice things and partying or whatever and uh, that after that something happened that is also drishti so that's like negative energy will i catching up with you so immediately you should understand that you are very sensitive to negative energies and you should avoid um, you know showing off or putting things on social media particularly if you are vulnerable now if you are not vulnerable it's absolutely fine see like some professionals they are always on in front of camera um, they always shoot and uh, they are always everywhere in the limelight so they will do their whatever is required to protect themselves so that way if you are if you really want to go all out and show yourself everywhere and be all around then you need to uh, protect yourself with lots of uh, raksha bandhans and uh, talismans or uh, the best thing and the cheap and the best thing i can say most affordable is the black tourmaline i have plenty of black tourmalines at home and uh, they are very good um, they are highly potent and they can just absorb negative energy like that so like um, keep keep it in your hand for 5 or 10 minutes and you'll start feeling the energy i cannot hold it with me for more than 10 minutes it's like i start feeling some kind of an energy like i feel very uncomfortable so i know that maybe some part of my negative the energy which i have accumulated by rubbing shoulders with people by interacting with people or thinking about something or hearing about something all that gets absorbed and i'm cleansed and try to take a shower twice a day once in the morning before you leave home and once you when you're back at home in the night or evening that will really help because it just cleanses the entire aura around you so even if you have rubbed shoulders with people whom like especially in, when you travel in a public transport or you know when you go to a mall you don't know you're just moving around and there is always a clash of auras there's always a rubbing of auras it creates some energy and some people who are negatively impacted if they just pass you also sometimes if you're energy sensitive you get it so it's always good to have your shower twice a day and on new moons and full moons and fridays and tuesdays so new moon full moon friday and uh, tuesday four days try to be very careful when you're walking on the road uh, when you're jogging walking whatever just be very careful because people just throw nimbu and chilies and uh, eggs you know even especially where the three roads meet they do that and they because they remove the nazar what they have and they throw it and they just go away so if so whoever goes on that first second third we don't know the order but they are likely to be affected i know one student uh, who was in her she was in her first puc pre university and uh, she was doing fine till then there was absolutely no problem she joined college her parents paid up all fine and suddenly she said i am not going to college she didn't go for about 40 days and over and her parents were so upset paranoid they got her checked everywhere and uh, all the doctors had to say was no all the reports are normal she's fine we don't know why she's not uh, going she doesn't have a health problem we have given you clearance then uh, um, you know they started meeting tantrics because they verified through an astrologer like um, you know what is the problem and we all had a look and we said yeah no it's a tantric attack or it could be like you know she's gone or stepped on something like this so that's why she's caught on the drishti the ne- evil eye so then uh, some tantric remedies had to be done like which a special kind of dhoop was given to them which she had to put everywhere in the house and uh, she had to wear a talisman and some pujas were done after which 
she became completely normal and she's going now and she scored very well in her exams and uh, i'm very happy so it's very disturbing that people actually target students because parents are most affected when the children are affected so um, anything happens to parents they'll somehow endure it but if something happens to the children they cannot tolerate it so they suffer so that's why people often target the children and the grandchildren which is why you need to be very very careful and uh, this college tips and everything that i have given you the hair or nail it's all applicable to all age groups and particularly children because through them only then uh, they are the weakest link you know they are the ones who are most carefree so people try to attack through them so that's how you need to safeguard and uh, also teach your children and you also practice always whenever you come home from outside when you wear your slippers Uh, chappals shoes whatever and footwear basically and you go out don't mix that footwear to what you wear at home uh, and uh, always keep it outside and wash your feet and then enter the house if you don't have an independent house where you can wash your feet and enter if you're living in an apartment or a condo you can come home uh, straight away head to the washroom uh, wash yourself up then come out and do your other activities don't enter the kitchen don't enter the bedrooms like that just straight away make it a habit it's a very good practice you are uh, instantly cleansing yourself from negative energy and like i said if some people come and drop something in your house and all what you could do is also have some teerthas from some temples uh, or some ganga jal at home always and if you suspect something just sprinkle it in all the rooms with a mango leaf you can just take it, just sprinkle it everywhere it has its own positive impact of cleansing always be in good company with friends who are well wishers and uh, who um, share healthy vibes you know when you go and meet them you should you feel like you, you've known them for life and they are the best and you know you can share with them and things like that so you'll know no you connect to some people like that so always be in such healthy relationships with be with people who care for you genuinely and when you know that somebody is in a black magic attack and who's suffering please go all out and help them because i remember what my guru always has said is that when you are under a black magic influence your mind will be clouded okay so you won't be able to think properly so basically you won't be able to take your decisions you won't have clarity of mind because it's not only the person who's directly impacted by black magic it is also the person who's dealing with this day in and day out watching the person suffer watching the family suffer uh, or bear the loss or whatever so all of them will be affected degree of negative energy affecting them will be different so if your for example if your daughter is affected or your son is affected or your wife whoever is affected 100% you may be affected by 10% but you are still affected because the negative energy is in the same place where you live so what you need to do is when uh, so such people what happens is that they are always suffering so they won't know that they are suffering they won't be able to take decision they won't be able to decide whether they should go to a tantric or a mantric or an astrologer or a temple or um, they should leave the house and go to another house they don't know these things uh, when you see people that they are severely affected by black magic uh, what you could do is always uh, go and help them reach out to them that's what my guru always says because their mind will be clouded they need some help external help because energies which are not i mean some pure energy can really help them a lot in uh, settling down with you know settling their problems or you know it's really helping them get out of the situation and another thing uh, which my mother used to tell you know these two nuggets i never forget is we when people are in problems no uh, most of them have self respect so they will not want to reach out and talk like uh, for example if somebody has a health problem it's still okay you know they some people tell i have a health problem so you tell you i go to this doctor that doctor some people have financial problem so they'll say i have money problem that's very most of them are very discreet they don't want to talk about it so when they have a financial problem and you know that they somebody has a financial problem particularly because of black magic you please volunteer to help them it will really make a whole lot of difference and you will also um, be contributing to somebody's uh, you know that you know elevation of pain i can say and suffering and if somebody has a black magic attack or anything so please go and help help them make a decision uh, make up their mind give them some mental strength because they may not want to talk about it you know who wants to talk about something really wrong happening everybody wants to share yeah i'm doing fine i'm doing good like that you know you want to share good things bad things there are very few people women may be more comfortable talking about it 
to their close ones but um, men are generally very shy they are very reserved and they don't want to talk about their problems so you go volunteer you you go and uh, ask it's okay they won't think it's overbearing yeah, over a period of time they'll say you know actually it's not normal why why is this person so much interested in my problem and all that but then when you uh, share good vibes and you 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 show them that you're genuinely concerned their problem is as much as yours then uh, it will really help them come out of it soon because they'll open up and uh, and uh, with god's blessings when you know the creator will guide you how to uh, help them come out of the situation it's very very important that you are surrounded by good people when you are uh, having a black magic attack it really really mm. helps you get lot of strength and direction so it's uh, it's a fantastic thing to be a good friend to somebody who has a black magic attack don't get scared that uh, oh my god this person is already inflicted black with black magic they have some preta bada Mm. they have shatru bada and uh, all those things so i don't want to be associated don't get scared of uh, such things yeah if you need some protection get yourself some protection talisman and all that and then do it don't overly do something which you are not confident if you think you're vulnerable please clear that belief first and then you can approach but giving directions is nothing so please help people whoever is really um, affected and uh, whatever inputs you've got through this video you can always um, share it with others so that they can also exercise caution and they can also be very careful so as to you know prevent themselves from being exposed to negative energy so i think pretty much i've covered most of the points about uh, how you can watch out for warning signs what you need to do to prevent further black magic attacks and uh, how you should not hesitate to go and consult an astrologer or a tantric who can find like somebody whom you trust you know who can actually confirm that it's a tantric attack or not and uh, how you should keep uh, black tourmalines at home it will really help you and uh, also like uh, periodically cleansing everything like uh, cleansing the home with mantras I, i always have a mantra in your uh, lips actually this is something that's very important i missed on uh, in the beginning is that you should always have a mantra in your lips in your heart always it will help you any mantra any mantra just keep yourself connected and uh, wherever your chakras are you have the seven chakras in one of the chakras you can just apply like you know your chest or here or here or your nabi also just apply some kumkum or vibhuti and just something sacred so that you are always in tune uh, with the divine and the cosmic uh, universal energy and uh, hanuman chalisa is very good chanting hanuman chalisa every day will work wonders for you so you can feel free and chant it every day practice it or listen to it it will really it has all the palash it's like a entire thing you know you chant it you'll know the benefit is already there in that that is hanuman chalisa so please chant hanuman chalisa every day it will really 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 give you a lot of mental strength and just the negative energy will just go like that so uh, with this uh, i hope this video was useful for you and do share it with your friends and family so that uh, everybody gets the benefit and uh, you know prevention is definitely better than cure be more proactive and uh, try to protect yourself from negative energy i wish you all the best namaste